anything else I'd, I would check in. I think it's been <laughs> uh, close to a week, about a week since I've done a video. And this is one of the few days where we got a quiet, you know, with no wind. So I have to have the camera on, so I thought I'd do one. But, uh, you know, I've just been carrying on like I normally do. Like I say, this, this whole virus situation really doesn't affect me. Things are normal. Pretty much. A uh, few things I noticed, like there are more people on the hiking trail than normal. Uh, I often see 10, 15, 20 people a day. Which is fine. You know, I think a lot of the parks and stuff are closed, so for people to get out, you know, the hiking trail works good for that. So that's okay. Uh, <laughs> always surprises me when I always said, what was person, you know, when I didn't expect, but, you know, it's, it, it goes by the garden. So a lot of times when I'm working in the gardens, I'll see people go by. But I, I got the feeling, you know, with this, what's going on now, I think there, there's more, a lot more to it than what you'd expect. I mean, people are obsessed on the virus angle of it. But I think, you know, yes, people have died. But there again, you know, people are always dying, so... But I think as far as the, the economic repercussions of this and the politics involved in it, uh, I don't think we've seen the worst of this yet. You know, I think you're, uh, I think you're in for a whole lot of anguish yet. So we'll see, you know, but that's why, you know, there's there's things that come up, the things that I kind of run across, but I've, I'm always kind of hesitant to talk about them because there really isn't anything you can do to change the situation for you. You know, I think you're kind of in this for the duration and I, uh, I think it's going to get ugly, really ugly. Like I say, not so much for me, but for a lot of people, they got tough times ahead. You ain't seen the worst of it. You know, just the, uh, you know, like say after 9-11, how, uh, all the government surveillance and all you know, all this that came from that that was you know for your own good there's a whole lot of that going on now for your own good that is pretty worrying you know and now they've got People are really dependent on the government, and uh, that's really the last thing you want to be dependent on. You know, that's that's pretty scary. But I don't know. You know, people seem to. You know, they always say you know, like uh, it used to be like uh, to tame a wild horse. Well, the first thing you do is just starve it, weaken it. Then when you start feeding it. It's, it's grateful and, and very cooperative. Boy, it seems like that's what they're doing. But we'll see. I, you know, I, I think things are going to come out about this later. You know, you'll maybe get some truth out of this down the road. But I think by then it's going to be too late.
you know, so I think you really got to start looking carefully for the truth now. Yeah. But like I say, uh, to me, no difference. But the world out there is changing. And not for the better. And I don't see I don't see an easy solution for this. But I don't know that people are gonna be willing to just stand by, you know, and, and let this kind of thing happen. I think it's gonna get ugly. Not so much in this area or, you know, in the Midwest because really it hasn't been a big effect on it because, you know, we're really ag-based. You know, I guess out in the western part of the state there was the oil boom crap and I imagine they're hurting, but... Like I say, around here, it really... If I wouldn't have heard that this stuff was going on, I, I would have never even noticed it. Because, like I say, uh, I guess the only thing, a difference I noticed was at the bank that the the lobby is closed and you had to use a drive-up. Well, I've always used the drive-up anyway. Only been in the lobby maybe three times in my life, so... If there wouldn't have been a sign, I wouldn't have known that. But I think, well, I guess the last time I was in town, I did notice uh, there were a lot of people wearing masks. You know, which I guess, okay, yeah, you be on the safe side if you want. I mean, I, I'm not, I, I've got masks, but I don't bother wearing them. Uh, this, I'm not afraid of this. Uh, the virus angle of this thing is not something that, that's got me spooked. Not this particular thing they got going on now. But the economic stuff, that's uh, a little spooky. Well, there, now I'm talking, now Bob got to come see what's going on. Ain't much, Bob, ain't much. But I thought I'd check in. And kind of just tell you, you know, be very vigilant because I don't think you've seen the worst of this. It'll be interesting. You know, in history, what this will be. Because I think there's a lot of stuff to come out about this whole thing. But now people are scared. They're looking to their government to help them. And like I say that, that ain't where you're going to find your help. You got to look to yourself and to the people around you that are close to you. It's interesting, you know, I kind of keep an eye on what's going on, but uh, a lot of this, you're not really getting the true story on this. But it's absolutely incredible when you read in the comments, like some of the news that ends up on YouTube, there is a comment section they leave open on that. People are just going crazy. You know, those, those, the comments are uh, frightening, but I guess this is the time to be scared, you know, if you're in that position. But we'll see I'm down the road. You know, I'll, I'll check in once in a while. I'm not going to do a lot of videos. I mean, I'm busy. I got stuff to do, and uh, I think you got you know, things to look to yourself. You got enough going on. I mean, uh, at first I thought, well, I should be doing videos just uh, gives people something, but, you know, something to watch other than the news, which is uh, 
worse than useless, let's say. But I think you better, you know, I'm tending my garden. I think you better be tending your own garden. Yeah, I'll head on Bob. At the end of the day, what I'm doing just cutting uh, is slab wood, you know, cutting it into two by sixes and that sort of thing. I want to get it done, get some of the sawdust to wash away if we ever get a rain, which might be tonight. Got a lot of gardening done though. I'm in good shape there, where I, where I want to be. But I guess I don't have much more to say, you know, but, uh, huh. hang on, you gotta brace yourself because like I say, it's gonna get ugly. You know, because you got, you know, I'm more concerned about the economic angle than I am of the, the virus angle. Because viruses come and go. This isn't new, but it seems like this, you know, like this, this, our economy was like a whole house of cards anyway, and this virus is enough to tip it. Now, there's a lot of people uh, kind of struggling for power in this situation and that are going to be taking advantage of it. Yeah. You know, it's interesting, but it will be interesting to see what this looks like like five years from now when they look back on this. Though people are still looking back at the last time the economy kinda of crashed and they they really don't have a good grip on that, so I don't know that they'll ever get a grip on this. Don't look to the government to bail you out of this one. They're busy bailing out banks and the big corporations, but people are gonna, people are suffering, and it's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better. I, I don't know how you can come out of something like this. I, I don't see it. You know, that's why I, I don't think, you know, like the normal, the thing is getting back to normal. It was a, a false normal anyway, so I don't think you can just go back to that. But I hear some places are trying, you know, opening up your tanning salons and your tattoo parlors. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's essential. But I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. I got plenty to do. No lack of projects. That's always a relief when it comes to the end of the day. But I'll get up in the morning and I'll start at it again. Yeah, I'm wasting time, I guess. It's a puzzle, though. It'll be interesting to see. But it's like a bad story, a really bad, <laughs> kind of science fiction almost kind of deal. <laughs>